Hello, we are the Capital City Cloggers from Columbia, South Carolina, and I am Heather Vassy, the director and owner of Capital City Clogging Company. We are so excited to share with you today the change agent that clogging has become. I started clogging when I was two years old, and in 35 years, I've seen a drastic change in clogging. From freestyle clogging, where the hardest step was a buck basic, to now it's less impromptu and it's more practiced than ever before. And we're seeing clogging on national levels being competitive. These girls today are going to showcase some of those changes in clogging. As clogging began in a barn many years ago, it is a melting pot of many cultures across America. It truly is an American dance form. In the barn, they would spread sawdust on the floor so that the gentleman's shoes would actually slide easier. And that began the drag slide style of clogging. If you'll shut your eyes, you'll actually hear the train that should be the noise that you hear whenever we're doing our drag slide steps. And they will show you the Simone. Six, ready, go. So hopefully you can hear that drag slide style of step. So clogging was very freestyle. Everyone doing different steps. And as clogging has progressed through the years, it has become more uniform. And even the traditional style of steps and the drag slide style has become more uniform as well. We will show our first step. Six, ready, go. Thank you, Roma. As you saw in that step, you can still hear that drag slide style, but she has a little bit of what I call rubber legs as well. Five, six, ready, go. Thank you, Bo. As you saw in that step, she did a little jump for joy, a heel click, which is very common when dancers get excited on the traditional dance floor in a hoedown. Five, six, ready, go. Thank you, Abby. So as you can see, we've progressed to what was drag slide to now we're dancing more on the balls of our feet. And you also saw a transition there and a change from a more traditional heel click to now a more contemporary heel click. Through the years, not only did the dance style change, we became more competitive in competitions. We moved from dancing at bluegrass festivals and fiddlers conventions, we'll still go on today in many competitions, but now we're even just doing clogging competitions and dancing which originated in 1981 the America's Clogging Hall of Fame and we just returned from the national championships of that but not only did competitions change our shoes also changed throughout the years we went from dancing in just regular dance shoes in the barn floor to clogging shoes which you see here today with the taps on the bottom of them <laughs> you also may notice that our shoes are bendable. They have a split sole. That was not always the case. In the late 1900s, early 2000s, dancers started slicing the bottoms of their shoes so they, they could bend because they were a straight sole of a shoe, very similar to a dance shoe. So we started making changes to those shoes, and now dance shoe companies make split sole clogging shoes for that very reason so that we can stand on our shoe toes. Michaela, six, ready, go. Thank you. So as you can see, we've progressed from very traditional to very contemporary. But I, we pride ourselves at Capital City on showing our dancers the traditional side of clogging all the way through the change of contemporary. Five, six, double doubles, go. Thank you, ladies. So as we showcase four of our dances for you today, sit back. Listen and see if you can tell the change agent that clogging has been. Bye. 
steps in that last dance. Just as clogging has progressed, so has some of the styles of music, including bluegrass music. Although we still dance our traditional partner style dances to instrumental bluegrass music, we enjoy mixing things up a bit by using more modern music with a bluegrass twist. Please enjoy I Love Rock and Roll. Dancing there by the record machine. I knew she must have been about 17. Feet going strong, playing my favorite song. I tell it wouldn't be long, she was me, yeah, me. I tell it wouldn't be long, she was me, yeah, me. Singing, I love rock and roll, putting up a diamond and give her a baby. I love rock and roll, coming to the town and dance with me. other influences shaped it. From the Cherokee Indians to African Americans and Russian Gypsies, clogging has incorporated many different traditions to become truly a melting pot of step dances. We have embraced the change of clogging while still respecting the tradition of our dance form. We incorporate the traditional holding of hands and figures with contemporary steps in multiple clogging categories today. Next up, enjoy gold. Gold up in my, put up in my face. Today is less impromptu and more complicated than the simple rhythmic dance begun by our ancestors. New influences are creeping into the dance because of popular culture. Tap dancing, Canadian, Irish, and even ballet and hip hop influences are being seen in the style of steps and dances performed by cloggers today. Please enjoy Good Time, Good Life.
about a good life. Clap your hands, yell, and cheer. We are all so glad you invited us here. Enjoy this last dance, and remember, the next time you hear a song and tap your toe, your moves may just be the next change agent of dance. Yeah.